right, first pie guy here. I'm going to show you uh, something that I uh, start started to use here. Um, built into the Chrome browser. So, if you go to the Chrome web store, as you can see here, then we'll just type in secure then you could just scroll down to shell extension now you can see here I got this blocked a little bit to hide my email but right over here you can see part of a little blue button and you just want to add that to your uh, um, to your browser so once it's added in there this is kind of nice because uh it'll put a little icon up here so if we just uh click on this little shell here it'll come up give you options then you can do a lot there's a lot of different settings that you can uh change around and whatnot uh but uh, we'll go up here to go to connection dialog then this guy here will pop up so you could just type in the, uh, the address like pi at then the IP address of the uh, pi or whatever you feel like uh, connecting to so we're just going to hit connect over here then it'll come up and ask for the password and there you go now you are in um, into a raspberry pi or whatever you feel like logging into by using a terminal um, that's in uh, built into uh, Google Chrome so no more using uh, putty or whatnot. I mean, this will work on Mac and Windows and uh, <clears throat> whatever else that you feel like uh, using it on, I guess. So, this is a nice little uh, add on to uh, do what you have to do. So, and it's very simple to uh, set up so the nice thing is since I put in that uh, connection here you know I can just click on it and it'll pop it right up so kind of works out pretty nice and I'm sure that you can uh, um, rename stuff and uh, all that so then you can change your stuff down in here and like I said your options and stuff really have a lot of different uh, a lot of different uh, interesting things so Alright, well, hopefully this helped out, and thanks for watching, and, and uh, stay tuned for another one.